Unboxing! Yeah. Hey! What's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another unboxing video, what? a very special G.I. Joe Classified unboxing video on the G.I. Joe Classified Cobra Viper. No, we're not talking about the Cobra Viper right over here, but I did get this and I still haven't opened this figure and I need to open it. Uh, what we're really going to talk about today is, oh my goodness, I have my HasLab His Tank right over here and the packaging is pretty small compared to some other HasLabs, but the weight, oh my goodness, it is so heavy. Uh, but before we open that, I wanted to remind you guys that tomorrow night, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Century Productions and I are hosting our first episode of Hella Sick Figs. So come on through, check it out, and we're going to have a good time talking about new figures and all kinds of stuff. So hope to see you guys there. Also, uh, I have some other things that I want to uh, open right here. I found this in the P.O. box. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this random bag right here. I don't know what this is from. I'm going to try to open carefully. It's the second bag from the Uncanny Experience. Hey, look at that. All right. Thank you, Chandler. Very cool. It's like a tote bag, a grocery bag kind of thing. Nice. Very snazzy. I like that. Looks like it's like eco-friendly materials or something like that. Origin assembled in the USA and imported uh, components. All right. Sweet, and then they got the QR code right over. Well, it's not showing. There you go. All right, see, I'm wearing Spider Man stuff. I had to represent, trying to piss off all the G.I. Joe viewers out there, or the G.I. Joe fans. Uh, I and I need to do a, a separate collection video again with all the Joes on the right side that they're supposed to, and the Cobra characters on the side that they're supposed to. I got a little confused because of the weapon accessories that came with them, but that shouldn't have confused me. I finished the trade paperback, by the way, which I really enjoyed, so I read the first 10 issues, and I really liked it. So anyway, uh, if and if you're on my Patreon, which I do post over there, it is, uh, I have an unboxing video showing off some more G.I. Joe Classified figures that uh, that have showed up. But it's a fun time. We got an after party set for Saturday night, and I'm looking forward to that as well. So I can't believe I got this in here. I'm very excited about it. And I was all on board for this right from the beginning that I had forgotten about like the bonus tiers there's bonus tiers that i didn't even know about look at how well they packaged this thing man wow and i got a marvel legends uh sandman review queued up for you guys for tomorrow so stay tuned for that we're gonna do that one uh for tomorrow i think i'm gonna leave all of this stuff inside here because i feel like it's just gonna be a third box inside this box so i'm gonna carefully slice sideways at an angle you see how i'm trying to avoid cutting into whatever box is underneath there so yeah and then i'm gonna post a video on those world of warcraft figures too by the way oh no these little cap things oh you just remove them like that very easy to do get those out of here plastic garbage right there i don't know if that's recyclable or not but anyway whoa all right got a big old cobra i want to show you what i'm looking at there we go Okay, pretty cool, and I expect to review this this weekend, so I'm going to spend my day working on that Marvel Legends review, uh, the Marvel Legends Sandman, and then working on this review as well. So that's where my time's going to go, and oh, lifting it up, ah, right, oh, wow, holy crap, so many boxes and boxes over here with the big old bag, well, they really want to make sure that they take care of this packaging i did back this project i did not back the dragonfly though i wanted to but some stuff came up and i wasn't able to pull it off uh but this i was able to get my hands on i wish i'd gotten more than one to be honest but damn oof i love the spot varnishing right here on the very top oh, look at the packaging right there oh that looks sick mm. yeah wow all right nice man Okay, woo, look how dope that looks. All right, and there's the top again, but it's upside down, and then, well, not technically upside down, it's just backwards because I'm, no, it's upside down because when you look in the back, this is, <laughs> this is right side up. See, upside down and then right side up. Is it a variant? Do I get a variant? 
but probably not. All right. Or it's this way. Yeah, no. So yeah, there's a blueprint or red print of the Hiss tank. Damn, I'm excited to open this thing. And I know it's going to have a bunch of figures inside too. Let's see. It says, uh, this unique invention of Mars. Uh, what does Mars stand for? They always have these funny acronyms. Uh, industries projects the cobra logo on the ground ahead of the vehicle uh okay and it says it in several languages okay cool well i want to open this thing man shit let's get to it and uh crack this damn but i want to do the packaging segment while it's still sealed but i do want to see the figures inside slice right here and slice right there and i think another slice down here Ever so gently. I may want to keep the packaging for this. Ooh, but then we get another box in the box. So many boxes in the box, man. Look at that. All right, so I'm gonna set this down. There's this like tray over here. Ooh, is this where all the figures are? Look at that. All right, very cool. Oh, wow, what a surprise. Look at this, holy crud. So we have our instruction booklet and Warning stuff in there for the Hiss tank. We have a nice film sheet of wax paper to protect the front of these figures and some padded uh, cardboard pieces with nothing inside there, right? Nothing inside. And then uh, we have the four figures. Wow. Look at that. Ooh, man. Very, very cool. Wow. I So Brett was telling me over at uh oh my gosh is this actually no it's not actually signed this is the cobra hiss tactician right there we also have the cobra hiss driver very cool wow dude and we have a hobra hobra <laughs> cobra hiss gunner <laughs> that's what they're gonna call baroness a hobra oh oh but uh, yeah, canceling joke. There you go, I'm done. And then you can see a uh, nice red print. Oh, that's a female. Is this a female figure? She looks tapered in. The Hiss Gunner. That'd be cool if they had included a Hiss female figure in here. Like, no, sir. Like, really not joking. That would be, uh, yeah, because look at the way the waist is tapered in on this one right here, right? So. I I backed this immediately, and I didn't even know about this Cobra Commander figure until Brett was telling me over in South Carolina. Okay, so this is like the retro Mickey Mouse Cobra figure right here. And, uh, yeah, that looks, that looks pretty damn cool. Wow. That looks like the Cobra Commander figure. Like, the whole vintage collection figures look really good. Or the retro card, is that what they're calling them? The retro ones that come with these card backs right here that look way more cartoon accurate. I mean, this looks like the best Cobra Commander figure. And I have the it was Pulse exclusive that came out early on. But damn, this is like my favorite looking one. I want to open it. This thing's got to be super expensive already, though. I don't know if I'm going to open it or not. But oh, I want to open it. I may just open it because I like it. I, I could do a careful unboxing. I know how to open carefully so I can put them back inside if I want to. Oh man, that looks sick. Yeah, I want this figure. <laughs> this looks cool as hell. Shit. Yeah, that would be a great centerpiece for Cobra right there. These look awesome. Just all on their own. Just these figures right here. I'm telling you, man, I was all for it. I've been wanting, even though I don't know my G.I. Joe too well, I have always wanted this, and I'm very, very excited to have them. The Hiss tank itself is right inside here. Woo! It says Cobra Hiss right there, and over there, and nothing at the bottom. And then we can crack this thing open. Whoa! Okay, I'm not going to assemble this right now. Stay tuned for the review coming up this weekend. But you can see we have parts sitting on top, and then we have some cardboard covering it all oh my gosh wow all right i will be putting this back together hopefully this doesn't all fall on me it's gonna damn i don't even have a spot to put this cover right here ah there we go yes i do but there is the his tank in the bag right there so i want to at least do this so you guys could actually see the his tank itself damn 
Damn, man. Very cool. All right, I'm going to put this back on <laughs> and do a proper packaging segment and everything. I should have done that before I started recording this video, but hey, what can I say, man? I have been excited. So stay tuned. I haven't abandoned the Marvel Legends reviews. I do have DC Multiverse stuff I want to talk about as well. I'm going to talk about those World of Warcraft figures. So yeah, there's lots of stuff for me to do today as far as playing with toys, but I'm going to primarily focus on the His Tank and that Sandman review. And uh, yeah, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Come through again to the podcast or it's a live stream. Ooh, it's kind of tricky putting it all together. It's tight fit in there. So you should have done the packaging segment first, but hey, got it all put back together. Looking nice and snazzy with the logo upside down right there. So anyway, thanks so much again for watching. Hope you liked the video. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.